What's going on guys? So I wanted to make a video unboxing a brand new product that I purchased called the Rapu KX and this is a keyboard but it's a little bit different from your standard keyboard because this keyboard itself is a wireless mechanical aluminum keyboard. Now I know that's a lot of things to take in mind at once but this is a really, I mean I don't think it's super high end but it's definitely a step above what I currently have. What I currently have is this old dirty crusty HP keyboard that served me pretty well for the last two years. I've been using this ever since I started my um, YouTube channel. It's a wireless keyboard which operates by a USB hub plugged into a port. And so far, it served me perfectly. The only problem that I have with it is that it's a little too big now, even though, I mean, it is a standard keyboard size. But I wanted something that was more compact. And plus, it's old. You know, it doesn't really look that pretty anymore. I wanted something that would have, like, more of a more of a cool look to it. So I purchased the Rapu KX wireless keyboard. Now this is a foreign keyboard. It's not really it's not really Americanized too much. It's not really sold too much here in the West. So I had to order it from Amazon, sort of like a backwater place there, but the link will be in the description. The main reason why I got this is because it looks pretty sexy from the pictures. And you know the box art is pretty cool too. I'll have some pictures showing on the camera. But this keyboard, I'm hoping, will be a big step up from my current wireless keyboard. And some of you may be asking, why do you use wireless keyboards? Well, in my current space, I don't really have that much room. So the less um, wires that I have, the better. So that way it's more organized. Because I, I have this thing where I can't really think unless things around me are organized. So, you know, the, hopefully this keyboard will function the same way this one did, if not better. It's mechanical, so that means it's a lot better quality than this one is. I actually did get another keyboard upgrade from this one a few weeks ago, but the thing is, is that I've dropped this keyboard probably more times than you can imagine, and it worked perfectly fine no matter how many times I dropped it. But the other keyboard that I got, it was a Logitech $80 super wireless keyboard, and I dropped it once, and the Logitech one broke into pieces, so there was nothing I could do. I couldn't reattach the keys because the plastic underneath them broke off, so it was pretty much a wrap. So I'm hoping that this, with this solid mechanical wireless keyboard, I get a lot more quality with the same functionality of this without the flimsiness of that Logitech I got. So let's get into this unboxing. So one thing you're going to notice right away is that this is a white box. The keyboard itself comes in two colors, black and white, and I managed to get my hands on the white one. Because, you know, I've been using a black keyboard for quite a while now. You know, I wanted a little bit of a change of pace, so I just thought I would opt with the white one. You know, sure, I know when it gets dirty, it'll show more, but I figure I can handle that problem, you know? Um, let me open this. You're going to hear some background noise. A lot of my roommates are home. Please forgive that, but here we go. All right, so now we are in a smaller, slightly smaller brown box. Um, give me a moment, let me just grab some lotion for my hands. My nails are a bit fucked up, please forgive that. <laughs> I don't really do too much prep when I do an unboxing video, but I gotta make sure my hands are at least moisturized, so... <laughs> yeah, that way, you know, you can see the silky smoothness of the texture of my skin, you know? Eh, okay, let me just, um... Alright, so... Now, everything should be good. Um... Perfect, the focus should be all right. So now, let's get into the real unboxing of this Rapu Mechanical Wireless Keyboard. So here we go. Now, the first difference you're going to see is obviously the color, but it also goes a little bit deeper than that. We're looking at um, an aluminum face on the front of it. It's pretty simple, you know? It doesn't really come packed with too much, just a little manual that you'll probably never read for the rest of your life. And uh, the keyboard itself, so, as you guys can hear, it really is a mechanical keyboard, which means it's going to be a lot more durable. It's going to have a lot more of a natural organic feel to it that most keyboards usually have. No chiclet keys here, which is kind of a trend with wireless keyboards. This one actually has full-size keys. And just telling you right now, holding it, this is probably the best quality keyboard I've ever felt in my entire life. Like, this thing feels sturdy. I mean, as you can see, the outside is aluminum and you can actually unscrew this part to take the keys off. It's a little bit weird that a mechanical keyboard requires you to undo screws, but I mean, it's a little bit different and you get a lot of quality in return. I would only worry about this scratching, and it fingerprints quite easily, but those are problems that can be solved simply with being careful and carrying a few wipes around. It also has retractable feet here. You guys may not be able to see that too well, so I'm going to, um, there we go. But yeah, as you can see, it also has retractable feet here, so 
it can sit on the table and it has rubber grommets at the bottom, therefore meaning that it won't make too much noise when it's on the table in the first place. Um, it's a really solid keyboard. It seems like it'll do the job quite efficiently. And plus, the main thing that I like about this one over the one that I currently use is the fact that the one that I um, the one that I frequent is really long and has this extra number pad at the right side of it, which I deem quite unnecessary for me, at least with my current level of work. I may need a number pad in the future for my endeavors, but right now it proves unnecessary, and that's why I really wanted to get this keyboard as well too. The number pad is cut off along with these other unnecessary functions, because you know at the end of the day all you really need is this. Now we haven't even gotten to the meat and potatoes of this whole thing yet, or maybe I shouldn't say meat and potatoes but rather a really nice side dish that this keyboard comes with. As you can tell, I'm hungry as fuck. Um, so, now, oh, also, just so you can see for yourselves, as you can see here, it has a little USB hub with a, you know, this is basically what you put into your computer, and it'll allow it to receive the wireless signal to work correctly. Let me see if I can take this out without breaking this bitch. Although it shouldn't break because, you know, it's really sturdy. And there we go, you see? The little hub right there to be able to um, plug this into your computer, so I will definitely be doing that. And now, I'm going to show you the coolest part of this keyboard, and the main reason why I wanted to get it. You'll notice, where are the F keys? Like, where are the top layer of keys that usually come with the keyboard? Now, as you can see on my older one, it has, you know, the older one has F keys above the number pad, which is one of the numbers that are usually there, but this one doesn't. Until you turn it on, and then magically, they pop up. So if we turn the switch here, so the Rapu turns on, and now you might not be able to see that too well. I definitely have to work on the focus with this, but um, there we go, that should be good. It's a little bit tough to see it with the light as well too, but I turned the keyboard on, and now, as you can see, the top black strip lights up with touch controls. These touch controls correspond with the F keys and other necessary functions that are on a keyboard. And if you hold down FN, it turns them blue. So you can use the secondary function as well too. So FN can turn them blue like this. And um, if you press them, they give you vibrational feedback. So that way you know if you touch one of the F keys, which is really handy since touch controls tend to be a bit quirky if you're not used to um, if you're if you're used to feeling some kind of feedback from a key but I really like the idea and the concept of having the touch controls on the keyboard and plus the fact that it's mechanical it's a little bit louder but god damn it this thing will be sturdy it will never break or anything it also has a um, I believe it has a brightness control as well too it's the tab key right here so if you press this tab key the light gets brighter depending on what you want to do um, well, it should have. For some reason, it's not working. I'm not getting it to work right now in terms of the brightness. Let me see. Let me turn the light off and see if it shines. Um, yeah, weirdly enough, the keyboard isn't... Oh, maybe I have to hold down FN and then press it. There we go. So it has brightness levels to it. And as you can see, the highest brightening setting, brightness setting is really good. Like, you can see it in the dark perfectly. Once again, another motivation to buy in this thing. The fact that it's wireless, it's small, compact, it's sturdy, metal. You will be able to use this in almost any setting without having any kind of bulk or wires or any inconvenient things like that. It's a really good keyboard, I'm glad I got it. I'm going to be testing this out for the next week or so and I'll give you a full review on it later on, but so far everything seems good. I'm really liking the idea of this keyboard and it seems like it's going to do the job just right without being a puny little bitch at the same time. In terms of first impressions, my, my thoughts on this keyboard are really positive. I feel like it's going to be a big help in terms of being smaller because like I said, the current space that I'm in right now, I need things to be as compact as possible, save space and whatnot. And this seems like it'll be just the right um, candidate for it. So I'm really excited about this. And plus, having a white keyboard is something new for me. Never really boasted one of those too much. I always kind of felt like electronics kind of don't really deserve to be, or rather, you know, belong in white color because, you know, it's constantly going to be getting touched. And I don't want it to get dirty, but 
you know, I'm a fucking neat freak to the max. So I'll, I'll admit that on camera. So I think it'll be okay. I'm willing to take my chances. And plus, it looks so sexy. The Stormtrooper look, easily one of the best out there. But um, what do you guys think of this initial unboxing? Would you be purchasing uh, Rapu KX yourselves? This is an 80 to, 80 to $90 keyboard, so it is a bit up there in terms of price. You're definitely going to be spending to get your hands on it. But I feel like it's worth the money. And plus, since it's not a huge brand name, you're not spending even more money for it than you you know would on a normal basis this isn't really that big of a name brand so that's why i feel the price is lower because in honesty this feels so much better looks better and everything about this is better than that logitech wireless keyboard that i bought a little while back i mean it blows it out the water in my opinion but the logitech was slightly more expensive coming in at around a hundred dollars while this one coming in 80 to 90 depending on where you're getting it from and if you have amazon prime then it'll be 80. But uh, yeah, what do you guys think? I want to hear your opinions on this. Do you want to see me do more coverage on this? Are you interested in wireless keyboards yourselves? I know a lot of people have issues with wireless, but I've never had a single one up to this day. And I've always been around wireless signals in all the places that I've lived in. And even with that cheap ass black keyboard, I never had a problem with reception, um, interruptions, noise, interference, nothing like that. So that's why I'm going wireless. But um, what do you guys think? Either way, I will see you in the next video. I'm going to have another unboxing alongside this one as well, so keep your eyes open for that one. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.